So if you're trying to keep bugs out of your garage, uh, one important thing to have on the outside is this seal here with a rubber um, portion that's touching the door. Um, and this is tacked on to the out, outside here. It's a, it's a fake wood. It's a plastic thing with the rubber lip mounted onto it as well. Um, and that, that does a pretty good job for the, the sides and then for the tops. But then uh, what you find on the bottom is in the corners, you get some leakage still. So I'm going to show you how I dealt with that. And you can see the light shining right through there because it's just wide open. And what will happen is the temperature, um, the bugs will sense that temperature change there and say, hey, it looks like a good place to go in there. And um, they just come pouring in through those two corners. One way you can seal that is with um, some of that spray foam, expanding foam, but it makes kind of a mess. Uh, I tried to uh, use that in the past, but it, it changes colors, doesn't look real good. Um, this time, I'm going to go ahead and use this acrylic duct sealant. It's available very cheap. I used this only like six bucks delivered uh, from Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description so you can find it. This is the stuff they use outside on your air conditioner. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like. This is the sealant they use on the end of these pipes. And it gets really hard, but it still has a bit of a flex to it. And it's good for indoors and outdoors. So the UV doesn't tear it up. But you can see it's like a Play-Doh that just got really hard. And I think I can use it to plug those holes up. Um, they use it all around in here to seal and keep this insulated. So I'm going to use that same stuff on the garage door. And here now with the garage open, here's that rubber seal I was talking about that the door will press up against and seal this way, which is nice. But you can see the gaps down in there big time uh, where things can crawl through. So really uh, what I'm looking to do is just seal off this area here and uh, use that mastic uh, to cover that up. And here's that same spot from the front. And here's the other side, uh, all gooped up as well. And I'm just going to let it sit for a couple hours and then shut this door and see how much of that light we blocked by covering up those gaps. All right, so it's cured and I shut the door fully. And on this side, pretty good. There's very little light coming through, so it's been sealed up pretty good. And I've got to figure out what I did differently on this side to, to get that blocked so well. Because of my first one, I still got some light coming through. And uh, I've got to do add a little bit more in there. Yeah, and here's my difference right here. Is there's about a quarter inch of a gap between this um, plastic uh, and rubber ceiling. Uh, part here and the concrete on this side and on the other side that goes right to the ground. So I'm going to come back in and I'm going to tuck some more mastic underneath there and uh, that should take care of it. 
So hey, if this helped you figure out a good way to keep bugs out of your garage, uh, give the video a thumbs up. And check out the description and you'll find a link in there to the mastic that I use that uh, is available on Amazon. And have a great day.